in. It's me here. Just a quick update on what's going on with arms. This here is Tinkercad on the computer. And I found these two items here, this and this, which are from uh, a 3D print of a, a Lego Bionicles. I've expanded them. This one's gone up to this, and then up to this size. Uh, and this one's been increased as well. What I've done here then is added a section on here, which is a round section, which will allow it to insert into the size tube that we have. I've then printed them out on the 3D, on the 3D printer. What we end up is with these little items here. This is a section of your pipe. This is the two sections that we printed, like this. They can insert in the end and be glued in place. You get one on the end of each arm, as the two join together like this. And what they will allow is, originally they allowed for a 360 degree movement. But as you can see, they pop out fairly easily. So what I did in the 3D print was to add a hole through the center of this one to line up with these two holes here and put them together we'll be able to put a small bolt through there and then what we'll be able to do is it will rotate this way only but it'll have a good range of movement within that it won't be able to move sideways but i don't think we need that because we want a little bit of control on your arms if they just go everywhere that's a problem and if they pop out that's a problem but if we have them this way just this and then our top joint will be able to move in that same 90 degree arc if we put one of these on it. And we should get a good amount of movement out of the arm using those two pieces. So the basic design was off the internet of this Bionicle. Added with this, this here so that we can slot it into the tube. Glue it in place and it should look nice and mechanical. And also... Um, provide a little bit of paint on this you can see there's a there's a thing there by the time you paint the tube one color and the attachment another color it'll look nice and mechanical anyway that's it